Dr. Angela Kent, University of Illinois. With our initial NREC project, we were interested in enhancing microbial processes that kept nitrogen in the field. So the, the transformation of, of nitrate, which will leach out of the field to ammonium. And this had to be a basic science uh, project at first because distillatory nitrate reduction to ammonium, DNRA, is not actually well studied in uh, upland systems. It's thought to be uh, sort of a niche process that happens in coastal ecosystems or, or saturated ecosystems. So, uh, so the first we had to demonstrate is this happening at all in agricultural fields, and it is. And then we had to understand what the ecological drivers were. And then of the ecological drivers of DNRA, what uh, of those drivers can we control through agronomic management? And what we've discovered is that it's largely moisture and nitrate availability that govern DNRA. And what's really fascinating to us is that dissimilatory nitrate reduction to ammonium, that the reduction of nitrogen happens at, at moisture levels where, where denitrification isn't possible. So there are some, some situations in which we can depend on DNRA to keep nitrogen in the field. And then I think coupled with some of the other nitrogen cycling processes that we're studying, we might have like a, a whole suite of microbial processes that can help us enhance nitrogen retention in agricultural systems. So nitrification inhibition is a, well, all right, so there's, so there's two things that we discovered. Okay, so first off, dissimilatory nitrate reduction to ammonium hadn't been well described in agricultural systems. So, so that was a novel outcome of, of our NREC funding. We also didn't really understand the controls, the ecological controls on DNRA. So that was, that was another important outcome of, of our NREC funding. We followed up with a, a project where we are um, uh, engineering corn, basically, to, uh, to, for better nitrogen re retention. Our new project involves, uh, is in conjunction with Fred Bilo, and we're looking at the effect of biostimulants, but then it, it's also synergistic with uh, other funded work that we have where we are looking at enhancing uh, nitrogen retention in corn through production of, of uh, allelopathic exudates, so corn root exudates that inhibit nitrification. Now this is a capability that is missing from modern corn, but we discovered it in our explorations of ancestral corn. So ancestral corn has the ability to inhibit the bacterial uh, function of nitrification and enhance um, nitrogen retention. Now, we're interested in understanding how that affects nitrogen retention at the ecosystem scale, but then we're also interested in understanding um, with these biostimulants that enhance nitrogen uh, fixation in corn, does that have an effect on ecosystem, uh, ecosystem quality, environmental quality? Um, does it uh, lead to additional nitrogen runoff? Because that would be bad. But, um, but we feel like that combining our nitrification inhibiting corn with the nitrogen fixing inoculants would lead to uh, sustainable nitrogen provisioning for the corn and nitrogen retention in the field. And so we're super enthusiastic about this project. I have a number of students who are involved in this. I have um, one student who is pivotal in looking at our dissimilatory nitrate, to, uh, dissimilatory nitrate reduction to ammonium project. And then I have three students who are interested in various aspects of nitrogen retention in corn. And then the, um, the discovery of, of uh, nitrification inhibition in corn was a really huge outcome. The, um, the capability of inhibiting nitrification in, um, is known in other uh, grass crops, um, usually more wild things, so like uh, wild relatives of wheat and barley, sorghum can inhibit nitrification, but that's never been observed in corn. And so our, our discovery of the uh, ability to, to nitrify, uh, or the ability to inhibit nitrification in ancestral corn, and then demonstration that it can be in, that that capability can be integrated into modern corn was a really important, um, a really important finding. And then we're exploring the actual application of that for um, for nutrient retention through NREC funding.